Hello, I thought I'd give you a quick video to show how I got this um, monoprice tablet to work with GIMP. Um, it's a good tablet for the money um, and it's got pressure sensitivity and quite a high resolution screen and it's a big tablet, 10x6, for not a lot of money. Um, it uh, comes with some uh, drivers and some software. Um, some of the software works um, in 10. And the, but the drivers are quite old and um, I thought it might be worth um, downloading these which are these are the original manufacturer of the tablet and they've got some newer drivers on here um, so it's in their legacy product of UGC logic um, downloaded those drivers however they still don't completely work um, but, um, just just to show you that it does work to an extent, um, uh, I found that uh, in <coughs> when you dial out that these are the original drivers and these are the newer drivers that I put on, that um, there's a little thing in here which allows you to alter various things. I couldn't find that originally um, when I installed it. You can run it from there. And it will allow you to test the uh, the pressure of your pen and everything. It proves it all works. You can see the pressure going up and down on here as I press down on the pen. And uh, there you go. But I, I've since found that um, you don't really need to run it from there at all. Um, it, once, once you've done all that, it does appear here. And you can do the same thing. And you can see... Uh, you can alter the buttons on the pen, the pressure sensitivity here, and um, the size of the monitor, and uh, these keys down the side here, you can change what they are, like for instance, when you press copy, it actually does control C, which for most programs that would be copy. So you've got that all working, but um, when I came to actually try and use it with GIMP, it still didn't work with the pressure uh, sensitivity switched on. Um, if I <clears throat> if I show you that, um, uh, because I've moved a few things around, I have to run it from here now. Yes, this is the uh, original version. So to get the pressure to work, you would have to um, put the input device on and choose that and choose screen. Now, <clears throat> originally when I did that, the <coughs> cursor didn't work at all. Um, and it's because um, the GIMP would detect that you've got a 64-bit system and um, would install the 64-bit version of GIMP. And then um, these drives don't appear to work with the 64-bit version. And uh, it didn't work. Now, there was a tutorial on how to make this version which i'll put on is the 32-bit version work and i thought that was going to be the solution but as i'll show you it isn't because um even though we've got got it to work when i um you can see the pressure is changing but you can see the lag on it is just just horrendous it's a long way behind the cursor so um i didn't like that so um just close that down, discard the changes. So, uh, on the GIMP site, there's um, a link to uh, nightly builds and things. Now, uh, the very latest ones are probably uh, a bit dangerous and they'll crash a lot, but um, I also found that they had um, a uh, A selection of stable ones on here as well and um, out of those I chose this one here which is the stable 2015-0903 version and downloaded that now I've put it in my program files and you can see it's here and if I just run that one and obviously you can take this 
from here by uh, you, you can pin it to your start menu and you can move that around and get it so it appears down here in the normal way um, <coughs> okay a little while for it to run so this is the newer version and um, once again you need to make sure that you've got the uh, things selected on screen um, to make it work <coughs> but um, now um, if I create a new one you can see that the pressure is working really well and it follows my cursor really quickly and uh, it's working really well 